Hello and welcome back here to South Northumberland Cricket Club, our second broadcast of the day here. Staffordshire still batting in their first inning, first innings on the first day here. Um, 204 for three they've reached now. We've had a wicket since we were last on, and that was the wicket of Alex Meller. He got 55, therefore he tried to pull a ball away from Ollie McGee and he top-edged it straight up in the air and was caught quite close in to the wicket. But that brought Will Shaw to the crease, who's batting now, and he's only been in a matter of minutes, and he's already got 21, and he's going to add to his score here, I think, if that came off the bat. Um, they're coming back for two down to fine leg. No, it didn't come off the bat, so umpire Eshaw, who now takes his gloves off, and I think he's going to tie a lace, um, if nothing else. Yes, he's just doing the lace up on his left boot there. So that's where we are at the moment, 206 for 3, uh, 49 overs gone in the innings, um, restricted to 90, the first innings in these matches, um, so there's plenty of overs left to go yet, and Staffordshire look like they're on the make here, especially Will Shaw that's taken the long handle to just about everything he's faced since he came in just a few minutes and a several overs ago but here he is right handed one slip in a gully facing Arshad swings and um, pushes into the gap there between backward point and extra cover for one it's fielded um, I think it's Williamson across to our right who trots in to field that one yes he's just looked up there and um, recognised him, he's away back out to the deep cover boundary, so we've got one uh, left-handed hill on strike now, we're still going to have one slip, a gully, a deep cover, an extra cover, a mid-off, a mid-on, a deep square leg, um, and a long leg. And a third man, as Arshad's in again now to Hill, who just pushes that one into the leg side, and it's picked up by the captain, Kant there, who is it wide mid-on, and there's no run, 207 for three. Hill on strike, 63 not out. Weather gorgeous now, it's been gorgeous all day. The breeze still blowing, but the sun just getting the better of it at the moment here at Gosforth. So here we go again now. Here's Arshad, runs in, bowling to Hill. Bowls now and Hill goes back and lets this one through to Peyton who takes an acrobatic catch diving to his left there across in front of first slip and that's the end of the over. So 50 gone in this first innings here now, another 40 still remaining if um, Staffordshire can hold out that long. The team in third place in the East Division of the Championship, they need and all bells and whistles win here to have any chance of becoming champions and going through to that playoff against the champions of the West Division. And uh, Northumberland down there, second bottom, level on points with Bedfordshire. And they'll be doing their best here to try and contain this because um, they'll not want to finish bottom again this season. So it's going to be Ollie McGee now to take up the attack. He's going to go around the wicket, away from us here, down behind the long on boundary, to Wilshaw, who's forward in defence, and just pushes it back to the bowler, and there's no run. <coughs> Arshad just moves out from first slip there, has a little word to Kant. Now he's back in, so we've got one slip, that's all that's close in at the moment. And there's Will Show pushes for one. There's a shot at the stumps at the wicketkeeper's end. And it's um, the batsman get through safely there. It was tight at first, but Will Show set off. It wasn't him going to the danger end. It was Hill running up towards the top end there, the striker's end, who was in danger. But he got there in the end. 208 for three. Will Show has gone to 23. Now he has... McGee again, he's going to go round the wicket, uh, over the wicket, I beg your pardon, the left armour. And it's driven out there square, and they're going to get a single, there's a shot in. And the batsmen again get through safely enough here at South North. And it's Hill who adds one to his score this time, he goes to 64. 
The score goes to 209 for three. Yaz Wilshaw facing up to McGee again. One slip in place. McGee around the wicket now to the right hander. He comes forward and drives for one up to deep mid off. Just to our left here. And he comes through. He's gone to 24. The score goes to 210 for three. A little bit of weariness now, just creeping through the field, the Northumberland field. The field is out there, but they're all atten at attention. Here we go. Here's McGee. Still goes around the wicket to um, Hale, who's swept that up for four. He swept it for four up to the long leg boundary, and that's the slight applause you can hear here down below us from the commentary point here. So um, he's gone to 68. The score goes to 214. And McGee persisted. He's going to persist with this around the wicket line. Um, he doesn't want to bowl it too wide out there again if Hill is going to be on playing those sort of shots. But the ball just crossed over just to the left of the scoreboard up in that top corner, the top left-hand corner as we look here. As in goes McGee again, and this time he's on off stump, and it's Hill who plays back into the gap there in front of Square on the offside for a single. He comes through, and another one added to the total off the last ball there. It's Hill who's gone to 69. And now after 51 overs of this first innings, it's Staffordshire 215 for three. Hill at 69, and it's going to be Wilshaw on strike I think, or he may have got no I don't think Wilshaw's on strike this time, but he's 24 not out no it's going to be Hill on strike again and it's going to be Arshad, Arshad to continue the bowling from the top end there's a couple of Staffordshire spectators just walk around in front of us, below us here we're down behind, very very fine leg broadcasting so that's where the picture's the words are coming from this afternoon as Arshad comes in now towards us around the wicket to the left-handed hill who plays from the crease and the ball runs up there to mid-off and there's no run. The flag, the North East Premier League flag still flapping about in the wind across to our right over there. We're playing right on the middle, right in the middle of the square here at South Northumberland today. Arshad again now, about to come in, here he comes. Runs up towards us, bowling to Hill. Hill goes back and cuts it away and he might get four for this. No, it's going to be fielded down there. He's got one and he's coming back for two. In comes the throw and they get to safely enough. And it's Hill who goes to 71 with that shot. 215 now for three, Staffordshire. Arshad with the ball again. Umpire Warburton it is at square leg. To our right, he just comes a few yards closer. There must just be a couple of balls left in this over now. He has Arshad again now, takes his time. He's running in now, bowling to Hill. Hill chips it away, high over square leg, and it's going to split the fielders, and it's gone for four over to the far side of the clubhouse there. So another boundary, a couple of bouncers takes it over the rope, and another boundary there to Hill. He's gone to 75, and the score moves up to 221 for three Staffordshire here. So these two are making inroads right from the start of the partnership. The last wicket fell at 169, so they've come on a long way since then, which wasn't all that long ago. Here's Arshad now, comes in over the wicket, bowling to Hill. Who shoulders arms this time to a good length ball outside the off stump and it just angles away from him and carries on its way through to Peyton here, the wicket keeper. And Thompson there. His legs wide apart there at first slip, just standing with his hands behind his back. Just stretching those calf muscles, I think, the thigh muscles. Peyton standing with his hands on his knees there. 
Now here's our shot again, coming over the wicket this time to Hill. Hill pushes it into the gap at mid-wicket for one. It's fielded now. And it's Kant who does the fielding there. And that's the end of the over, I think. No, there's one. No, it's just the change round because the right-handed uh, will show us back onto strike. So I thought the fielders were changing round for the over there. But it's 221 for three now. 222, I beg your pardon. The scoreboard's just updated itself there. So it's um, Hill who's gone to 76. And we're going to see Arshad come in again to bowl. Turns very slowly at the end of his mark there. Now he's running in to Wilshaw. Wilshaw strikes it, pulls it round the corner and he's going to get just the single for that because McGee's at fine leg to our left here. And it was short, aimed at the body. But uh, Wilshaw stepped across there and got it away for a single again. Another single off a last ball of the over. 223 now for three after 50... 51 will have been complete now, I think. And um, we'll just wait till the scoreboard updates there. But Wilshaw has definitely gone to 25. Uh, 52 of us complete now. Out of the 110. Minimum of 110 in the day. So at the end of that one, Wilshaw is going to be on strike. 25 not out. And it's going to be at the non strikers end hill. And we're going to have Ollie McGee again. Who's going to bowl this next over? And here we go now. McGee just going to measure his run out again, is he? Or is he going to rub his hand down and dry some of that sweat off? But he's going to bowl to Wilshaw with a slip, a backward point, a deep cover, an extra cover, a deep mid off, a deep mid on, um, a mid wicket, a deep square leg, and a short fine leg. Wilshaw comes forward, pushes through up to the boundary, across to the left, a deep cover for a single. He comes through this way, towards us here, and he's gone to 26. The score goes to 224 for three. The weather brilliant, still brilliant here. There's a chap up there at the far side, just on his own on a deck chair, taking the world in as it goes by this Sunday afternoon. As McGee bowls to Hill this time. And Hill just pushes the ball back to him this time and he picks it up and walks back towards the end of his mark. With his dark spiky hair, sunglasses on McGee, long sleeves down, done down to the cuffs. As any balls now. And there's a fuller ball, he give that one some flight. And Hill just put the bat down on it there and it didn't roll very far, it stayed in the crease as Peyton picked it up. And throws it back, Peyton throws the ball back to McGee now. Here he goes again, over the wicket, left arm spinner. Hill comes forward and strikes out to the leg side, and they're coming through for a quick single here. That's good running, just to the um, Y7. And here's McGee again, and he goes and bowls to um, Hill again, who just pushes into the leg side. And there's no run, and there'll be a couple left in the over here. Oh, no, that's the end of the over. So, uh, end of the over there. Score at the moment. We've got a drinks break coming up. I see the drinks just down on our right-hand side coming out of the pavilion there. So, we've got a drinks break with the score now, uh, the update. Uh, I was one ahead of myself there. I mustn't have, saw, mustn't have seen the scoreboard change over. But Staffordshire in the first innings at the second drinks break of the day are 226 for three. Hill is not out 77 and Wilshaw 27. Um, a look at the scorecard now, I think. Um, the scorecard for Staffordshire first innings. Kadia Ali, Court Brown, Bull Tindall 20. Kelsall, LBW, Bold Craigs 25. Alex Muller, Court Payton, Bold McGee 55. And the two not out batsmen there, Hill and Wilshaw 76 and 25. And there's been 22 extras. There's been one or two, um, four buys got through in the last um, half an hour or so. Nine buys, six leg buys, one wide, and six no balls so far. The wickets have fallen at 51, 59, and 163. And the bowling, we'll just update the bowling here. Um, the bowling figures for Northumberland in this first innings. We've got... 
Arshad 15 overs none for 63, Tyndall 13 overs one for 54, Craig's 11 overs one for 45, Max Williamson 4 overs none for 10, Alexander Simpson 3 overs none for 9, and Ollie McGee 7 overs one for 30. Yeah, seven overs, one for 30, McGee at the end there. And we've had um, 53 overs of the maximum 90 allowed in the first innings here. Yeah, so a tough old day at the moment for the fielders out there because this sun is still blazing its um, head off here. Yeah. And it looks like I've just seen a big sh something shiny coming out of the clubhouse there. And it, uh, some sort of trophy or something one of the fellas is carrying there. But uh, I don't know what that will be awarded for. Uh, but the umpires have had their drink now. The drinks are on their way off. And we've got um, Wilshaw and Hill making their way up to the crease again. Wilshaw. Um, there's plenty of him, I'll give you that. He's a big fella. He's the taller of the two as well between the two batsmen. Um, and surprisingly enough, the umpires are actually quite similar in the stature both with a sun hat on umpire Eagleton up to the top end there and umpire Warburton um, down at this bottom end and yes the drinks are just on the way off at the moment and the Northumberland fielders make their way back out so it was Staffordshire who won the toss in this match and chose to bat and that's looking like the right decision at the moment now let's see who's going to bowl here I think Will I should carry on from that top end can't see him going over there at the minute he's he looks like he's heading that way but he doesn't seem to be um, going at he doesn't look too keen to carry on but no he's not going to that's why because we've got um, the return of Tyndall I think who's coming back on at that top end or uh, maybe Simpson I'll just have a look in my binoculars here uh, Simpson who's coming back on um, we had Tyndall on back on after straight after lunch which we finished um, about an hour it's an hour and 20 minutes ago now so um, the umpire umpire Eagleton there just checks if the scorers are all ready to go and it looks like everybody else is so as the sun just um, a cloud just forms a shadow over the ground for a moment there um, we're going to have Simpson with a slip, a gully, a backward point, a deep cover, an extra cover, a mid-off, a mid-on, um, a deep forward square leg and a fine leg. Ollie McGee, who's just, he just had his pants down for a minute there, just tucking his shirt in again. <laughs> down at fine leg there, I don't know what uh, caught him off guard there, but he has Simpson in the bowl too, we'll show who defends from the crease and the ball goes off just in front of square there and it's Craigs who trots up and picks that one up from extra cover and there's no run <coughs> and here we go Craigs just throws it up to Arshad there who's on his way back he's at mid off and he'll throw the ball back to Simpson who's about to go and bowl again he's up at the end of his mark now he just takes a couple of steps backward now here he comes in again, charging up over the wicket, bowling to Wilshaw. Wilshaw plays from the crease again, and that got some bounce. Played it down from just below the waist down to the leg side. And it's picked up there at mid-off. Uh, Mid-on, I beg your pardon. And uh, there was no run. 226 for three here at Staffordshire. Wilshaw on strike, 27 not out. And... The chap just comes and sits down below us here. A bottle of something nice it looks like for this gorgeous afternoon weather. Simpson in again to Wilshaw who plays back out to backward point there. And that's the captain Cantu and um, picks that one up. So our official finish time tonight, half past six. After the um, September start time of half past ten this morning. So that's... Uh, and at the moment we manage, we're managing about 17 overs an hour at the minute. That might slow up as this um, sun takes, a toll, takes its toll. But uh, it's gone in just for the moment as Simpson runs in towards us again, bowling to Wilshaw. Wilshaw goes forward to the full one and drives. It's an on-drive and he'll get four for that. 
inside, in between the stumps at the bowler's end and mid on there. And the ball races up, crosses the rope now just to the left of the little red bricked groundsman's hut up there. Um, and it crashes into some of the wooden panels, the green painted wooden panels up there at the far end. So four more to the total. 230 for three now. And Wilshaw has gone to 31. And the ball's been retrieved up there. And it's, you know, Simpson's got it back for the moment. Now here he comes again. Running into Wilshaw. Wilshaw goes back and pulls it. He hasn't timed it, but it's into the gap and it's running up towards the deep mid wicket boundary but it's not going to get for four it hasn't got the legs it's picked up now it's Tyndall who picks it up and throws in and uh, it was a good throw from way down in the bottom a corner there across to the left and Wilshaw gets himself another couple of runs he's gone to 33 the score goes to 232 for three now and Simpson it is who gets the ball again now here he comes running in to bowl to Wilshaw again full and it's driven again and that's that was a little bit of movement in the air before just after, before it pitched there it swung a little bit away from the right hander but just a fraction before it pitched but it was full and Wilshaw manages to fend it out just in front of the crease and that's the end of the over the two batsmen stop for a little chat in the middle of the field there um, the scoreboard I don't think is updated yet um, but we'll soon see um, it's going to be McGee anyway to bowl the next one um, continuing his spell from this the cricket centre end and we're looking down here behind the long off boundary for the left handed hill so it's McGee about to go in to bowl to Hill again, who's back and just plays out to mid-wicket. The ball runs up there now and it's fielded. So one slip in place, no sun at the moment, a slight breeze still out there. The clouds just gathering across from the right. And here's McGee again, goes into Hill, who sweeps this one away and I think he'll get six for that. And as a spectator, takes cover down there over by the flats and the balconies to the left. And... I think he'll have, was that, yep, I think he got six for that, and we'll wait, I didn't see the umpire, I must have been quick in giving that one for six, but we'll soon see when the scoreboard finally updates itself here, but it was a fantastic shot nonetheless, um, he got onto it quickly and got it high and away and he hit the middle, and there's a man out there at um, deep square leg, but uh, here we go now. McGee bowls again to Hill, who just pushes the ball back to him. So I think we've had two of the missing runs added on. 232 now for three, the scoreboard's reading. But we'll yes, there's the six added on now. 238 for three. As in goes McGee again to Hill, who just pushes to mid-wicket this time. And the ball runs up, and it's picked up off the ground there. So Hill is edging closer, ever closer to three figures here. 83 not out now. Will Shaw on 33. And here's McGee again, bowls now. And that's hit him on the pad, but uh, it, looked, it was certainly heading off down the leg side, that one. And it's picked up there at short fine leg, and there's no run. So 238 for three. Staffordshire here. One slip in place. McGee about to bowl. Goes in now to Hill. Hill goes back and strikes out to extra cover, but goes straight to the fielder there. Simpson, who picks it up, and there's no run, and that's the end of McGee's over. So, 55 now complete in this first innings here, and 35 to go until the maximum of 90 is reached. So, Staffordshire 2, 3, 8 for 3, Hill 83, and Wilshaw 33, not out. And the scorecard, Ali out for 20, Kelsall, Kelsall out for 25, Mella for 55, a nice innings there from um, Alex Mella before he tried to pull one away 
Um, just like that shot before, but it took a top edge and it was Peyton who ran forward to catch. But it's going to be Simpson to Wilshaw. Fresh over here. Ooh, uh, he's back this time, playing square out to backward point. And it's picked up off the ground. And there's no run. A few of the spectators down in front of the pavilion. Um, a little slow to return from the lunch or the sandwiches or whatever. Um, but there's a few more of them out there now. If you're in the Newcastle area, do get yourself over here. Um, to this first day of this last minor counties championship match of the season for these two but it's Simpson to Wilshaw again Wilshaw strikes but he doesn't time it a pull shot and it's just going for one into the vacant mid-wicket area there's a deep mid-wicket there so um, if he'd got more than more than the full bat on that I think it might have cleared the fielder but um, fortunately he did for him mistiming it it just went into the gap there so he gets another one though He's gone to 34. The score now goes to 239 for three. And there's a change in the field. Um, have we a change in the field? No. We uh, The slip's out. And we've got two two gullies. Tom Kant, the furthest, second f to the left there. As Simpson bowls to Hill this time. And he just defends it back up there to mid-off. And there's no run. It's picked up now. So we've lost the slip. Um, we've got a long leg, a deep square leg for the left-hander out to the right. A mid-off, a mid-on, um, an extra cover, a deep cover, and two backward points. And is there a third man down there? I just can't see round the corner. Our view just blocked for a moment. But here's Simpson again. Moves in. And bowls to Hill. And this one's... Slightly just on out, just outside off stump, and Hill just gets in the line and plays it out under the leg side, but it's picked up quickly there, and there's no run. So 239 for three. Hill on strike. 83 not out. And I'm just looking for Ollie McGee. There must be a third man in because I can't see Ollie McGee on the field anywhere with his sun hat. Um, and that's the only position just out of view at the moment. But here's um, Simpson again now to Hill, who hits a full one through the leg side, and it's running up there towards the deep mid-wicket boundary. And they've run one. Shouts from the crowd down below have go on, but they settle for the single. And Hill moves now to 84. The score goes to 240 for three. In the Staffordshire first innings here. The sun back out with us now. We'll show the right hand around the strike. We've got the slip back. We've got the gully back. We've got the two back. And we've just got the one backward point now. The deep cover, extra cover, mid off, mid on, deep square leg, and a fine leg. Simpson in now to Wilshaw. Wilshaw plays from the crease square out to point there. And it's picked up off the ground. And that's the end of Simpson's over. So another one complete, 56 complete in this first innings now. 240 for three, Staffordshire. Hill 84 not out. And it's Wilshaw 34 not out at the moment. So welcome to our second broadcast of the day. Here on Cricket West Town on Speaker Internet Radio. If you've joined us, you're more than welcome to do so to hear some cricket commentary. We'll be here tomorrow as well from 12 noon again here at South North to take up the second day of this match but um, unfortunately we'll not be here on the third day if indeed the match lasts that long so for the next couple of days you can be with us here on Cricket West Town um, as McGee takes up the new over and he's just um, seeing we're just seeing Hill hit down to um, the apartment side of the ground for a single it's picked up now and thrown in and Hill comes through to this end, our end for a single. He goes to 85, the score goes to 241 for three. And now it's Wilshaw on strike, a slip in place. Here he comes now. And facing McGee and he's whacked this one, he's going to be out. And Tom Kant, the captain, takes a catch. Down here at deep mid on, right in front of us. And Wilshaw just stood there. I don't think he could believe he hit that shot. It was a faster ball angled in towards the body. He tried to give himself some room. And he just whacked it straight. And he didn't time it. A cross-batted shot. And it came right down here 
two can two took it just below shoulder height and Northumberland have their fourth wicket here this afternoon Wilshaw it is who is out for 34 the score now 241 for four in the first innings here Staffordshire as Wilshaw makes his way out uh, back down towards us here the players entrance just off to the right there um, and now we see some drinks being rushed onto the field and the applause there just for Will Shows he made his way off some drinks rushed onto the field there for Hill um, he's going to have a sup he's 85 not out so um, we're just waiting for the new batsman to get up there up to the middle he's on his way out now the Northumberland field is just down in front of us um, just all split up that little group meeting there and McGee it is who's taken his second wicket of the afternoon so the young lad 21 year old 100 over 100 wickets now for the county club Northumberland County Cricket Club so well done to him and he's about to take up the new over and the new batsman in is Maxfield I think it's Tim Maxfield Tim Maxfield born in Walsall his club team Whitmore he's a left hander so plenty of left handers in this side for Staffordshire and it's going to be McGee which um, if Craigs has had a rest he was taking the ball away from the left hander but he seemed to have more luck against the right handers but um, he's having a rest at the moment so one slip for the new batsman Maxfield here his left arm is tattooed up to the nines as McGee bowls and Maxfield's off the mark straight away as he pats the ball down there just backward of square on the leg side and it's picked up and he comes through for a single and that takes the score to 242 for four and it's going to be Hill to face up to this one still one slip um, sunshine out again just wisps of cloud passing by us here over the top going out towards the coast as McGee's in again now bowling to Hill this time who's back and plays through extra cover and I think you may get four for that there's a chase on here but a nice stop a nice sliding stop by Williamson out down just to the far side of the pavilion there and um, he's got two runs there has um, Hill he's gone to 87 the score goes to 244 for four now now McGee again about to bowl in he goes, bowling to Hill, and that one's just lent on leg stump, and he just hits it into the ground, and it's fielded there at forward square leg, and there's no run, and the throw back to McGee there was over his head, he's just, uh, he's not too tall McGee, but um, I was saying yesterday watching his brother play it's uncanny how similar their actions are as he bowls now and it's um, Hill who hits it up back under the offside and it's quite just off the straight and McGee feels it and that's the end of McGee's over so 57 complete in the first innings here now 57 overs 244 for four Staffordshire wicket for McGee in that over that of Wilshaw for 34 and the batsman score 87 to um, Hill and one not out is Maxfield who's just come in now the wicketkeeper for Northumberland Payton here yeah, he's been down a few times doing his stretches I don't think he'll be getting a chance to bowl today um, he's the wicketkeeper at uh, South Northumberland so there's one or two players out there for Northumberland this is their home ground Tyndall, Payton uh, Craigs I think as well although I haven't looked at the programme there um, but here is the next over about to start and it's going to be Simpson again now here he comes Bowls now and there's Maxfield who goes back and chops into the ground but it goes straight on the bounce there and it's um, straight to McGee who's fielding there at backward point so 
The sun's still out here, still hot, hot enough for shirt sleeves most of the way around the ground. And we've got one slip. We've got a gully, a backward point, a deep cover, extra cover, mid off, mid on. Um, a fine leg, a forward square leg, and that's them all counted up, I think, yeah. So here's Simpson now. Comes into ball again, and that one's played off square by Maxfield again, and it just rolls out up there to McGee again. Uh, not McGee, I beg your pardon, he's at backward point. It's gone out to extra, extra cover, and there's no run, it's Craig's field, uh, fielding there at extra cover. So, here's Maxfield on strike again. One not out, just that single to his nail. Here's Simpson bowling to him. Maxfield plays this one from the crease, looks for the single, but um, it's Hill who tells him not a chance, the ball just ran out there a few yards from the stumps under the offside and it was Kant who went forward from Gully there to pick that one up so no run there the ball back up at that far end now Simpson just gets a little catch popped up to him he's at the end of his run here he comes now here he turns to come in runs in now towards us bowling to Maxfield Maxfield goes forward, half forward then, just pushes the ball back along the ground and um, it's Simpson who picks it up and there's no run. A few hats, plenty of different styles of hat in the crowd today. Got plenty of baseball caps. A couple of floppy sun hats out there. Straw hats as well. We've got no bandanas. As Simpson turns at the end of his run now, here he comes, bowling to Maxfield. Maxfield strikes high, over, long on, and one bounce for four. The umpire, umpire Eagleton up there, signals up to the scorers, and that's um, Maxfield off with his first boundary, or gets himself going after that single with his first boundary so he's gone to five the score goes to 248 for four here Staffordshire so and there's there'll be 58 overs complete so 32 left in this restricted first innings here 32 left after this one and Arshad it is who went up to get that the ball just Rattling about there up in the practice nets. And here's Simpson again now. Keeping his chin up as he runs into the ball here. Bowling to Maxfield again. Maxfield, he's edged it and it's gone through the legs of Kant there, I think, at um, Gully or just to the left of him. And it's gone for four. And that will be the 250 up for North uh, Staffordshire here. 252 for four now, the visitors. And it's Maxwell who will have gone to nine with that shot. Yes, there with the scoreboards just made its way up. And um, actually, I, I do beg his pardon there, Tom. And I don't think that went to his legs. I think it went just to the left of him. But it was an edge into the ground. And it shot past him. Um, away up to the third man boundary just to our left for a four. So anyway, McGee's going to carry on here. Um, 252 for four. <laughs> and um, he's going to go over the wicket, the left arm spinner. And he'll be bowling to Hill this time. And that one's turned around the corner, it's beating the short fine leg, it's rushing up towards the boundary and they've got two but there's a sliding stop there, picked up now and thrown in and just to the right of the scoreboard up in that top corner and that was um, thrown in so another couple to the total there, 254 now, yes 254 for four, McGee it is again to bowl. And it's Hill who plays back up to deep cover this time. 
Williamson runs in from the boundary across from the right and picks that one up and throws in. So another one to the total there, 255 for four and 90 not out now. Um, Hill. 90 not out. Here's Maxfield on strike, nine not out. McGee balls and Maxfield is just forced back into his crease there to play that one and there's no run it's just pushed back up to the bowler and um, it's going to be McGee again one slip in place we've lost the sun for the moment uh, plays back again and driven a short arm drive up to Williamson again who throws in from deep cover from the right across on the boundary there a couple of spectators just um, sitting behind him so another single to the total Maxfield gets another one he's gone to 10 the score goes to 256 for 4 as McGee in again now bowls and there's Maxfield uh, uh, Hill I beg your pardon plays back up to Simpson there with extra cover and there's no run and a couple of young lads up there in the practice nets as it's McGee again now bowls to Hill who's back again and plays up to um, Williamson again at deep, ex uh, deep extra cover this time where he fields and another one to the total and that's the end of McGee's over so 50 59 complete now uh, 257 for 4 Staffordshire 91 to Hill and it is 10 10 to uh, Maxfield at the moment, the two batsmen just having a little stray, a little chat up there, and they break away now. And here is, um, is it Williamson about to come back on? I'll have a look through the binoculars here. Um, no, it doesn't look like. Um, oh yes, it is. It's Williamson coming back on. So. From the top end, he's back for his second spell. He's changed ends now, so we're going to have one slip, um, a backward point, a deep cover, an extra cover, mid off, mid on, a mid wicket, a deep square leg, deep backward square, and a short fine leg. So here we go. Here's Williamson. Comes in now. Bowls on middle and leg, and it's just pushed back to him on the leg side there, and he picks it up off the ground. And here's Williamson again now, balls two. It's Hill who just pushes that one out to extra covert. Simpson there who picks it up. And there's no run. The wind drops just slightly here as Williamson's in again. And again it's just pushed out there a little bit square this time. And it's McGee who picks up from um, backward point this time. Again, no run. A big match. Had a text off David Neal, the umpire, just before there. As Williamson's in again now, loops one up and it's full and it's driven out to Simpson at extra cover again. Um, Humsoff in a playoff up at Ashington today. Humsoff have sealed the West Tyne League Division 1 title, the double in fact. Williamson bowls again and it's driven square this time, but it's McGee who picks up again and there's no run. Throws the ball back to Williamson. Right arm coming round the wicket from the top end towards us here. Up in the cricket centre. Here's Williamson again now. Bowls and uh, it's Hill who plays back. And there's little Miss Fielder coming through for one. There's a shot at the stumps. And it's backed up well there. And they get through safely enough. So one off the last ball there. And Hill takes the strike up at the top end for the start of the next over. So he's gone um, to 92, I think, now. The score goes to 258 for four. And the other batsman, Maxfield, 10 not out. The scorecard so far. Ali, Court Brown, Bold, Tyndall, 20. Kelsall, LBW, Craigs, 25. Mella. Court Payton, Bold McGee, 55, and Wilshaw, Court Cant, Bold McGee, 34. 
and the bowlers we'll just have a look at the bowling figures so far if we've got them I'll just update my little screen here um, and it's great these apps I said at the last game as well um, Arshad 15 overs down for 63 Tyndall 13 overs 1 for 54 Michael Craig's 11 overs 1 for 45 and we'll just wait for it to update again there we go Williamson 5 overs down for 11 and I think his last over might not have been included in that, but uh, I think he's bowled six now. Alexander Simpson, six overs, none for 25. And Ollie McGee, who's about to take up the attack again, two for 45 from 10 overs there. There's been 22 extras in the innings of 258 for four so far. But it's going to be McGee who goes in bowling to Hill, who gets a big stride in there and pushes the ball slightly onto the leg side but it's picked up by McGee and there's no run there's a car just pulls out of one of the apartments across to the left there still nobody on the balconies they must all be out for their Sunday there he's down the pitch is Hill this time and he hits it high over long on and it crosses the boundary now and disappears six is signalled by umpire Warburton at this end so six more to the total that's 264 now for four and it's uh, Hill who has gone to 98 now two away from the 100 98 not out 264 for four here Staffordshire Hill on course for 100 here 98 not out 60 overs complete 60 full overs complete so far in the innings. McGee now bowls. He's back and he's pulled it away and I think he'll get four out to mid-wicket. And there it is. A hundred for Hill. A hundred for Hill. He waves his bat at the crowd here. Waves he's batted the crowd across here, the Staffordshire contingent just down below us here. And um, he gets a handshake of his partner Maxfield there, but he's 102 not out there. And here's McGee again. And that's turned away through square leg for another single. So he'll go to 103 now and the score will move to um, 200. We'll just wait for the score to update there. I don't... Um, I think they've added that last boundary on the scorers there. Here we go. Yes, they have. 269 now for four. 269 for four. And here we go. It's going to be McGee again this time to Maxfield, who's 10 not out. Maxfield comes forward and defends it. The bat leading the shot there. Plays almost it's plays like a copybook there. The old forward defensive shot. As McGee goes in again now. Over the wicket. Ah, he's pulled it over mid-wicket again. He's not going to get four. This time is um, Maxfield. It's thrown in now. And he just gets a single there off the last ball of the over. So he'll have the strike. 270 for four now. Maxfield has gone to 11. 103 to Hill. And there's now 61 overs complete in this first innings here. So 29 of the maximum 90 left here at South Northumberland this afternoon. So we're sponsored here on Cricket West Tyne on Spreaker Internet Radio. So we'll go for a quick word about some of our sponsors and we'll be right back here. So if you're with us at the moment, do stay. We'll be back in about 30 seconds or so. You're listening to Cricket West Tyne program on Spreaker Online and Podcast Radio in association with the Royal Oak Country Pub Cornsey Colliery, experts in business, business consultancy, and Cannon Bristle and Dairy Products. Drink well, eat well, do business well, listen well. Hello and welcome back here to South Northumberland. Williamson's taken up the attack and it's hit him on the pad and he's out. LBW, you came back just in time there. It's Hill who's out. He went for a pull shot and umpire Eagleton was um, on the ball with that one. The finger went up and it's Hill trying to play a pull shot. Hit him squared up, hit him on the pads. 
by the ball bounced off to the offside and he's been given out to LBW for a marvellous innings of 103 and he walks off now 2-7-1 for 5 now our Staffordshire And a very generous applause there too for um, Hill, who's just walked off to down below us and to our right. A few drinks been taken out there, so the score now 271 for 5. <coughs> and the new batsman in for Staffordshire um, is Yates. He's on his way out now. And he's got his long sleeves on, the cuffs done down to his wrists. Doesn't look like he's got a jumper on, but uh, he looks well padded up as well. He's got, I think he's got several thigh pads on there, protecting just about everywhere, but his backside. Um, but here we go. We've got um, a Williamson. That's Williamson's first wicket of the afternoon, by the way, so well done to him. And he's about to bowl again now. He's just up at the top of his run there. So here we go. Yates it is. Facing up his first ball. Another left-hander. So we've got one slip in place now. Here's Williamson on his way. Yates goes forward and lets that one outside the off stump. And I tell you we're not quite in line here behind. But that wasn't far away. That one the gripped and just pitched and just straightened and went past the stump there. But here he is again now. Here's the next one. Yates is forward and uh, almost a replica. Just lets it through to the wicketkeeper, Peyton. 2-7-1 for five here, Staffordshire. 49 overs left in the day. Here's Williamson now. And oh, he goes and plays and then lifts his bat out at the last minute there, does Yates. Saw it and he's pitching on a good length here. Is Williamson? It's just pitching and turning, just straightening up. He's in again now, and that one he pitched that one on Midland leg. So, um, yeah, it's had to play at that one, and he just defends it into the offside. So, that's the end of a good over there from Williamson 271 for five now. It's uh, Yates is yet to score, he's just faced four balls there. And the other batsman in there, Maxfield, he is 12 not out at the moment. 12 not out. And Hill, a splendid innings of 103, and just went for the big shot there and LBW. So Arshad is just signalling where the captain can't want him at the minute. But um, it's going to be McGee again to start up. Here we go now. Here's... McGee to bowl to Maxfield now in the short sleeves with one slip. We've lost the sun. Well, it hasn't come back since the last time, I don't think. Um, and the first one's just defended back here to McGee, who's forward and picks that one up. Two wickets so far for McGee. Haven't seen Tom Cant bowl yet. Maybe he's just saving himself till later in the day. Yes, McGee again now bowls to Maxfield, who's back and plays up to um, deep cover point. It's fielded now, and they've just come through for one. Well, Maxfield has. He's gone to 13. The score goes to 272 for five here, Staffordshire. Yes, McGee again now. Bowling left arm spin over the wicket to... Yates, Yates is back and he just flicks that one brings the bat across, he's played across the line there to flick that one out to mid wicket, picked up off the ground there, and there's no run, a dangerous shot that one so early in his innings, but here's McGee again now, bowls full and Yates is forward there, and just defends out to Simpson in there at extra cover left handed Yates 
here we go now. Here's McGee again. Ball's in two. Yeah, two plays square this time and it's nicely stopped. And um, by Craig's this time at point. A backward point. And there's no run. The ball comes round to Simpson here. Just gonna pop up a little catch to McGee. Here he goes. He's got his sunglasses off now. And uh, yes, the sun's disappeared. Uh, quite a grey cloud up above us now. And there's a nice cut shot from Yates, but it's stopped by Craig's. Getting down under the floor there at backward point, and there's no run, and that's the end of the over. So 272 for 5 now, Staffordshire. Yates still yet to score, 13 to Maxfield. And we've got um, Williamson, Williamson to start up again from the top end. And here we go now, Williamson still with his shirt sleeves pulled right down to his wrists. He's got a slip in place. And he comes around the wicket now to Maxfield. And he just pushes the ball back to him. And he lets it, Williamson just lets it run all the way back to him there. Doesn't take a step forward, just flicks it up. Quickly back to his mark, here he comes again now. Bowling to Maxfield, Maxfield's forward. And again he does the same, pushes the ball back along the floor. And it's picked up by Williamson there, who trots back his shirt, his shirt there, whipped up in the wind. As in he comes again now and bowls more flight, and he's played a mist, and that was a rather little pokey shot, that one. Um, he, neither, he, he got the front foot out, but he neither went very far forward, or didn't steer back and just prodded at it. But um, we're going to have a delay in play here, as a gentleman doesn't look too concerned that he's just walked by the bowler's arm there behind the bowler's arm but he's out the way now um, uh, Williamson uh, bowls yes Williamson bowls and it's Maxfield who just plays out there to wards the cover boundary but it's intercepted just off the square so a single to Maxfield there he's gone to 14 the score goes to 273 for 5 now Staffordshire Williamson again bowls and that one is Yates just defending down to McGee there at cover point and there's no run Yates looking to get off the mark here in he comes Williamson and Yates just goes back in his crease and defends this one again out to the offside and it's Simpson who picks up and there's no run and he just gets his attention distracted there by something behind him but uh, it's the end of the over anyway and now 273 for 5 here Staffordshire. Um, it's all gone a bit uh, quiet at the minute. But that wicket um, just to give an extra half a yard to the change round of the fielders. To the Northumberland fielders here. So here we go. Here's McGee again. One slip in place. He bowls now. It's on the leg stump and it's turned round the corner. But it's fielded there at uh, sort of a deep leg gully. In their short fine leg. And the ball's back with McGee again. He runs, he's about to run away from us here, running in towards the little blue tractor up at that top end there. As in he goes. And there's Maxfield who just pushes it back to him. And there's no run. Here we go again now. Here's McGee. Turns now. In he runs. Or jogs and it's Maxfield who's hit it high and there's a catch chance at deep mid on and he's out Maxfield is out and McGee with his hands in his air there in the air there look at that two fingers up in the air and his arms up and he raises a smile with that one another wicket has fallen and McGee is pleased with that one and it's um is it Thompson that has caught that um down here at Deep mid on, I think it is. We can confirm that in a minute. But Staffordshire have lost their sixth wicket here. And what joy for McGee there. And Northumberland, 273 for six now. And this is a bit of a recovery from the home side's bowlers here and the fielders. And I tell you, they've caught almost everything today. There was just that slight half difficult chance, which um, Brown, I think it was, um, a long time ago now at backward point just put put down a flying through the air but the good fielding today from the Northumberland 
um, fielders. So there we go. Six down for 273 here and it's a Max Field who has gone. So that leaves Yates up there who's not yet scored. Uh, three wickets for McGee as well now. And the arms were in the air there and a big smile on his face. And I think that was the end of the over and he's even having a little laugh and a joke there with the umpire, umpire Warburton at this end. So the new batsman is in for... Um, Staffordshire here, it's Raza, number 11, according to the book here, um, we'll have a look in a minute, I'll have a look through the binoculars up at that top end, yes, not a very tall fella, um, he's just taking his guard off the umpire now, looks like he's taken um, middle stump there from umpire Warburton at this end, so now the fielders just come a yard quicker. 273 for six. Both batsmen on naught here. 64 overs completed overs so far in the innings. McGee on high spirits here. Arsha did slip there, waving his arms back and forward. He looks in the mood for a catch. And the two batsmen at the moment. Just about to sweat it out for a few minutes as McGee's in around the wicket now and Raza leaves that one outside the off stump and bon and McGee's in again bowling to Raza and that one's defended off leg stump and back down onto the leg side quite straight there and McGee's just across to his right as we look at him and he goes and picks that one up so here we go again now here's McGee and he goes around the wicket bowling to Raza Raza goes back and defends. He's um, building a little bit of pressure here, McGee, forcing the batsman back, but there's no run off that last one. Played into the offside, and at the end of that over, 2 7 3 for 6. Staffordshire in the first innings here. Um, Raza, no. Yates has yet to score. And a wicket in the over, the third wicket for McGee there, that of Maxfield for 14. He got there, caught out down at deep mid on, and it was rather like um, Wilshaw's shot. He tried to whack it, just tried to cross bat it and whack it over the straight field, but he didn't. But Williamson takes up the attack now, and it's Yates on strike, who just defends the first one out there to Simpson in at extra cover, and there's no run. And here's... Williamson again now and Yates is back playing up there to cover point this time and it's fielded there's no run one slip in place the sun goes in again cloud just moves across as Williamson's in towards us here and Yates he's off the mark eventually and there's gun no he's not there's a shot at the stumps and it was Craig's there who bowled it round it looked to be in the gap and that was an excellent Bit of fielding there from Craigs. He spotted that immediately, was quick round and kept Yates back there. So Yates is not off the mark yet. And it's 2 7 3 for 6 still as Williamson's in now and Yates back on his stumps again. Just watches this carefully and plays. Well, that's a squared up again and just pushes it out there to Simpson at extra cover, who's wearing his sunglasses on the back of his hat at the moment. But here's Williamson in again now and bowls and it's full on the stumps and Yates just digs the bat down there and that was close to his toes on the crease. Didn't get very far forward to it. And here's Williamson again now. Ah, deep square legs coming off the boundary now. Right in close as Williamson bowls and it's there. Oh, I thought there was an edge there but it was played off just in front of square and it goes to the fielder at um, cover point there and there's no run Staffordshire now a maiden over there 273 for 6 neither batsman Rosa no Yates has yet to score Yates has um, been on north for quite a while now since he came in and Rosa he's been in for a couple of overs now he may have I think he may have faced 4 or 5 balls but um, he's about he hasn't had a um, bat at this end yet so he's on strike again at the top end it's going to be McGee to keep up the his pressure here. Um, pink heels on his boots there. Moves in the bowl now to Raza with one slip. He's back and drives it and that's a half a stop and that's definitely saved four in at um, cover there. 
and cover point and Raza's going to get two he gets off the mark it was a good shot went back and drove it um, through the covers but a good stop in there half a stop anyway it certainly saved four so two to the total two seven five now for six and it's Raza off the mark with a couple two seven five for six here Staffordshire T approaching McGee in to Raza who chips this one off his toes round the corner um, just in front of square in fact and it's fielded now and they come through for a single fielded it um, square leg there two thirds of the way back to the boundary so Raza he's a right hander first right hander we've seen for a while but he's gone to three two seven six now for six and it's McGee who's going to go over the wicket to Yates as the helicopter just disappears down towards Newcastle there as McGee plays by bowls now and Yates plays back to the bowler. Got some bounce there McGee. Gives it a good polish on his left thigh now. As he's just about to turn at the end of his run up. And here we go. McGee bowls and uh, Yates is down the pitch and almost yorks himself there and mistimes a drive. It bounces a bump ball, bounces a couple of times before it gets back up here to McGee. So Yates not off the mark yet, still on naught, one slip, McGee. Yates back in his crease, turns it round the corner again for a single. He's off the mark now and he comes through for just one here at this end and... Um, that's 277 now the total 27746 and um, Yates is off the mark now we're going to have to have the sight screens moved again down here and it's um, because it's McGee who's going to go around the wicket to the right handed um, Raza up at the top end there so we're going to have a slip um, a short fine leg, a deep square leg, a mid wicket, a mid off, a mid on, um, an extra cover, a cover point, a backward point and a slip. So here's McGee now. Sun's gone in again. Bowls and that one kept a little bit low and Raza just watches it carefully out to the offside and that's the end of McGee's over. So about 12 minutes away from tea time here at South North um, in the late afternoon and McGee's just finished another, another over, three wickets to him, 277 for six, Staffordshire here, Yates won that out and it's um, Raza at the other end who is uh, three not out at the moment. So we'll have another o over here by Williamson who bowls the first one now and it's Yates who just fends that one off to the offside and there's no run. So we'll have another over here and we'll bring you a full scorecard and then we'll um, update you with T as well as Williamson gives it air and Yates has walloped this one right over the wide long on boundary. Six runs are lost side of that one and it's headed over towards the practice nets there and I think it'll be retrieved by one of the young lads who are uh, doing their practice in there so six more to the total that was a full toss from Williamson there and now the score's gone to 283 for six and Yates has gone to seven Williamson in now drops one short on leg stump and it's just pushed in the gap there um, this side of mid wicket and it's picked up by Craigs and there's another one so it's Yates who's gone to 8 with that shot, 284 now for 6. Raza on strike, deep square leg in place now. Um, I thought there was going to be two slips there, but there's going to be a mid wicket in place and an extra cover, so no third man. We've got a mid wicket. Um, uh, we've got two mid wickets at the moment and we're going to have a square leg and a short fine leg so everybody's moving around this way we've got a mid off a mid on as well as here comes Williamson now to Raza who goes forward and pushes out to um, Thompson there in at extra cover Marcus Brown here at backward point Williamson comes towards us to bowl again 
Yes, there's Raza forward to a well pitched ball there. And Raza just pushes that one back up the pitch and it's fielded there by uh, the bowler. And there's no run. And here we go. Here's Williamson again now. Comes in over the wicket. And it's Raza forward defensive shot again out there to Thompson at extra cover. And there's no run and that's the end of another over here. So there we go. 2 8 4 for 6 at the moment Staffordshire so we'll um, bring you the scorecard now um, Caddy Ali, Court Brown Bull, Tindall 20 Kelsall, LBW Craigs 25 Mella, Court Payton, Bold McGee 55 um, Hill, LBW Williamson 103 Wilshaw, Court Cant, Bold McGee 14 and Yates not out there who's um, about to uh, face up now I think and it's hit out to the square side there on the offside it's square on the offside there and it's um, ball thrown in now and there's another run and it's um, Yates on strike again now two runs added there to it six for six and it's um, left outside the off stump this time and um, Yates just looks at that one so we've got a slip that was outside the off stump we just let it go we've got a slip in there at the moment and here's McGee again now moves in and Yates just plays it down square on the offside again and there's no run just playing for T here I think the two batsmen show up at this non striker's end, he's three not out, Yates ten not out at the moment, and here we go. Here's McGee, and he goes to Yates again, who's back and plays square, and that's a good diving stop in by, by Craig's there in at point, and there's no run. Uh, yes, uh, that's right, there was no run there. Just for a moment, I caught a glimpse of a uh, reflection in the glass, and I <laughs> thought the batsman had moved, but here's McGee. In he goes and bowls, and Yates is forward in defence again, and there's no run. So yes, definitely playing for T, I think now these two, um, without further injury to the innings. Um, we've got seven minutes though, as in goes McGee again, and Yates is forward, driving, and oh, a bad bounce there, has sent it low across the ground, and they're going to get two here, which is rather fortunate. Um, Simpson there completely bamboozled by the bounce of the ball on one of the cut wickets it um, looked as if it might bounce straight into his hands but kept low and whizzed out there and can't field it so two off the last ball there and it's now 2-8-8 for 6 Staffordshire and it's Yates who's gone to 12 Shayab is on 3 Shayab Akhtar and He'll um, take the strike now. And here we go. It's going to be Williamson to bowl again. Over the wicket this time to Shoyab. Oh, turns it round to the leg side. And it's fielded by McGee there. Who throws it back into Payton. Who gives it to Arshad. Who throws the ball way back up the pitch there to the bowler. Now here's the next one. In he comes. And he uh, actors down the pitch and hits it high. And it may be six that one. Yes, umpire Eagleton signals with high arms there. Six runs. So Shaya Bakhtar there gets it. Went down the pitch, hit it into the middle. And six more to the total. 294 now for six. 294 for six. And he's gone to nine. Actor, he turns this one and there's a nice shot through mid wicket but he's not going to get four for it are they going to come back for two no it's fielded now and thrown in and um, they just got a single there off that latest ball 295 now for six and Actor has gone to 13 and it's going to be Yates on strike now coming in towards here and that one's played out square again up to the boundary 
on the off side over towards the apartments there the apartment side of the ground and there's a single it's gone to 296 now and yet it's gone to 13 296 for six four minutes to tea so we'll have another over after this one as Williamson's in again now and somebody taking a picture up at that far end and um, he just put his hands up to take a photo there as the bowler was coming in to bowl so um, that one wasn't bowled for Williamson there umpire Eagleton signal dead ball but here you try again now and it's Akhtar who's back in his crease and he's played out square on the offside this time and there's no run and it's picked up by Peyton there who's run a long way from his stumps and just I think one or two of the spectators as well reaching down for the um, evening sandwiches down below us and to the right in front of the pavilion there is Williamson Bowl edged and out edged caught by um, Arshad in the slips it's Akhtar who's gone and it was a quicker one the last ball of the over there and I think the players might come off for tea now will they yes I think they are the umpires are taking the bales off so a few a couple of minutes early for tea and it's Akhtar it was a quicker one from Williamson tried his um, second of the afternoon and he, uh, it was Akhtar there he tried to play it away cut it away but edged and it went quite quickly and it was caught by Arshad in the slips so the seventh wicket falls at 296 um, here in the Staffordshire first innings 296 for 7 and that's at T as well so all the players come off the batsmen make their way off the unbeaten Yates comes off below us here he's 13 not out and um, we'll have to wait until later on to see who the new batsman is who comes in one of the last three batsmen to come in for um, Staffordshire but the players make their way off for tea with Staffordshire in the first innings here 296 for 7 with 69 overs complete in the first innings here of um, Staffordshire, Staffordshire's innings the maximum being 90 but we'll just update and we'll give you a full scorecard the bowling figures as well at the T interval here so the scorecard um, Staffordshire first innings Kadia Ali, Court Brown, Bull Tyndall 20 Kelsall, LBW Craigs 25 Mella Court, Peyton, Bold McGee, 55. Michael Hill, LBW, Williamson, uh, 103. An excellent innings there. Peter Wilshaw, Court, Kant, Bold McGee, 34. Maxfield, Court, Thompson, Bold McGee, 14. Yates, not out, 13. Um, Akhtar, Court, Arshad, Bold, Williamson, 10. And... There's been 22 extras in the innings so far. Nine byes, six leg byes, one wide and six no balls. The wickets have fallen at 51, 59, 169, 241, 271, 273 and 296. And the bowling figures so far. Arshad, 15 overs, none for 63. Tyndall, 13 overs, one for 54. Craigs, 11 overs, one for 45. Williamson, 10 overs, 2 for 28. Simpson, 6 overs, none for 25. And McGee, 15 overs, 3 for 66. And that's the bowling figures to complete the scorecard. At tea time on this first day of the last um, Unicorn Minor Counties Championship match here for these two clubs. So we'll be back on. I think we'll get back to whatever you're doing. If you've had your Sunday lunch by now, you may just be resting down listening to us, us or watching the telly but if you're out and about on this lovely Sunday afternoon here um, for looks like it's lovely all about the place um, over towards the coast and down down to the south there over Newcastle so and um, just a bit of cloud over towards Gosford High Street there and beyond away inland but uh, wherever you are at the moment do um, join us again we'll be back at 4.45 um, this afternoon to complete our commentary for the day's play here at South Northumberland Cricket Club for this match. So if you want to join us, you can. By all means, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, but I'll leave you now until 4.45 um, with Staffordshire 296 for 7 
in their first innings with 70 overs complete so another 20 to go to the maximum of 90 here in the first innings so 296 for 7 70 overs complete and the not out batsman at the moment is Yates on 13 so until 445 um, thanks for your company at the moment but do join me again then but from south north for now I'll speak to you soon speak again at 445